Yeah. Not in here. Uh, here. I think it's in one of these boxes right here. I think it's in one of these boxes. Let's see. Right there. I found it. So with that, let's jump into this. What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Yank Your Crank. I'm Chris and I am burning up. Let me take this jacket off. Give me one second. I'm glad I got that jacket off. Anyways guys, today I have a great how-to video for you. Um, so a while back, I actually was in my kayak fishing and I thought to myself, you know what? I don't really have a place to store my pliers, not a good place anyways, or a place for those, you know, those lures when you clip them off. I just end up throwing them in the floor and that's not really good because they can fall down the scupper holes, they can get lost, they can get whatever. Anyways, so I came up with this idea in my head. I was thinking for a while and I was like, you know what? I could build a caddy. So I've been on bass boats in the past and I've seen these caddies and I thought to myself, you know what? That wouldn't be that hard to make, especially for a kayak. So guys, I went to Home Depot and I picked up some really cool stuff. First thing I picked up was this box. This box is perfect for exactly what I was needing it for. On the lip here, you can see it's got holes. I can hang the lures right down there, right down here, put my pliers, that sort of thing. But I thought, you know, that's a lot of space. So what I went ahead and did, got a divider, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue that in there. Um, you guys will see, we'll go through all this. Anyhow, the last thing I got, Velcro, because I wanted a way to strap it in, pull it out if I needed to, anything like that, you know, wash it down, whatever. It was under eight, nine bucks, something like that. Anyways, so guys, let's get into building it. So guys, to be honest with you, I'm just kind of going to make this up as we go along here. Um, I got this divider, and what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to glue that divider in here. So we'll get started doing that first thing. And then on the bottom, I'm going to attach some Velcro. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Um, I think eventually I may drill out these holes, like drill a couple more on each end, as you can see here. But for right now, I really don't think it's necessary. And I may drill some holes in the bottom here, just so that, uh, you know, it's one of those things to where the water can escape and that sort of thing. But for right now, guys, we're just gonna get started. So here we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do, if you see these inserts in here, I don't know how well you guys can see these, but these inserts right here, what I'm gonna try and do is glue that flat plate on the bottom with some glue and then I'm going to strap some glue right here and hopefully that's going to be strong enough to hold this plate in. I'm crossing my fingers. This is new for me. Um, so with that being said, let's get started doing this. So I'm going to put a healthy bit of uh, glue if I can right in there. This glue is kind of older so I should have picked up some new some new super glue here but it works so guys if I come out of frame here I apologize I'm just this stuff is not easy to come out it is not want to come out yeah it's not coming out all right so what I may do one second if that's ever a problem for you um, come on. Ah. Helps if you go the right way, guys. Alright, so if that's ever a problem for you, better way to do this, especially if you got glue that's kind of sucked in there, caked in there, this gel super glue. Just take some, stick it on a toothpick or something, rub it in there. I'll get, I'll get as much of this out as I can and uh, get a good amount on each side there. That way I can stick this plate to it. 
I mean really it should hold regardless but we'll see then what I want to do is uh, I'm going to take I'll take a glob of this glue, glue here stick it right along this bottom and put it right along the bottom there guys I know how well like I said this is just kind of a trial and error thing for me I'll let you know how it goes um, but this was just kind of my idea and uh, so here we go guys I'm going to stick it down in here like so just press it against that bottom as you can see right there I'm just holding it against there and uh, just gonna kind of keep pressure on both sides here and then on the top until that stuff kind of sets up a little bit okay guys while that sits and dries I'm gonna go ahead and open this velcro up see this is 10 pound velcro so just to give you an idea it should not move anywhere and this stuff let's see how strong it is it's probably gonna sound horrible guys I'm not gonna lie it's probably gonna sound absolutely oh yeah that's got some good good pull to it I think that's gonna work out great so stick that down like so one goes on the kayak the other goes on the bottom of the box yeah, yeah, that ain't gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and put this up, put the lid on this. So I think that's pretty good right now. I think it's enough that I can do this and set up the Velcro. We'll see, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna be it's gonna be fine. Um, I think I'm gonna put soft side down so my theory is, is if I put soft side down on this and I may put a piece across the back too so I'd stick to the side of something if I wanted to um, but yeah so my theory is I put soft side down on this when I go and wash my kayak and stuff this doesn't fray out and go all crazy um, and this will be the piece that will go on so guys there you go um, this is the box this is kind of what I had envisioned. Um, on the bottom, like I said, I'm gonna put this on my kayak uh, somewhere and then I'll set it down on top of that. Or I may actually place it uh, on the back here like so. And uh, that way I can I can actually get, and actually stick it to the side of something, a little bit off the ground. Something, I don't know. But that, that's basically it. Um, as you can see there I, I may end up putting some slits in this this is going to take a while to set up so I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like it is um, I wanted to show you guys though you can hang you know multiple baits from it and uh, you don't have to worry about them rolling around at your feet in a kayak that sort of thing so with that being said guys that's it for this how to so, so guys as you can see that's how I built my uh, kayak caddy I guess I could I should call it kayak caddy does that sound right I don't know anyhow guys that's how I built it you saw it um and like I said it's super cheap it was under like nine dollars I think I think it was even under eight dollars anyhow with that being said guys I hope you're enjoying these how-to series I really am having a lot of fun doing them unfortunately I didn't get to go fishing that's why there's two how-to's this week click that like and subscribe button make sure you uh make sure you subscribe that way you get the notifications for my channel here and until the next adventure.